Mountain lions, bobcats, bears and more have been all spotted around southern Arizona in recent weeks. And tonight we have a reminder from Arizona Game and Fish about being cautious of wildlife as those temperatures rise. 13 News reporter Emily Miranda joins us in studio with more. And Emily, what have sightings been like so far? Well, Dan and Mary, May was a very busy month for bears. You have these ones that you see right here on my screen in Cochise County, and over the weekend there was the first bear sighting up on Mount Lemmon. Now, bears haven't been the only wildlife sighting so far. That is why officials are asking people now to be alert as temps heat up. Arizona Game and Fish saw their fair share of wildlife calls in May. They expect the number to grow in the coming weeks. It's all driven by the lack of food, water, and shelter on the landscape which is what all wildlife needs to survive. Wildlife like bobcats, coyotes, and mountain lions will be stretched for resources during the summer months. Game and Fish recommends not leaving out anything that might attract them. You don't want to leave pet food out. If you've got fruit falling from trees, police that stuff out. Take your garbage out the day of pickup, not the night before. If you come across wildlife in your neighborhood, you should try to make them uncomfortable so they're less inclined to come again. When wildlife is too accustomed to being around people, they lose their fear of people, and that's when mishaps happen. If you plan on camping this summer, you might see a bear, but don't be alarmed if you follow a few simple rules. Change your traveling direction, make plenty of noise, never run, and monitor food. It's all about food with bears, so they can smell food a mile away. So if you're in camp, use those locking bear boxes. While not as scary, Game & Fish is anticipating their first calls about Cooper Hawks as they start to jump from their nest. Don't try to feed them or bring them home, but you can help them avoid injury with one simple step. We're recommending making an artificial nest, basically a milk crate or a shoebox strapped to a tree. You can place them in there, he'll be just fine. Now, if you have any kind of wildlife conflict, you are asked to call the number you see on your screen here. And a friendly reminder, feeding wildlife except birds and squirrels in Pima County is illegal. Reporting in studio, Emily Miranda, 13 News.